A well-known professional acrobat has been handcuffed by police officers for wearing a funk bikini at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Sam Panda, who lives in Tipei, Taiwan, had been at the beach with friends over the weekend when the police department received a complaint about their bikinis from an individual Sam has since described as Sam Karen. In footage taken at the scene, officers could be seen handcuffing Sam. Despite her protesting, I literally wear this to the beach every day. Upon clarifying that Sam was being detained, a man filming the incident could be heard quizzing officers as to why exactly it was illegal to wear a bikini at the beach. Really wear this to the beach every day? We're going to show you. We're going to show you. Okay, absolutely. One officer then goes on to read out some legislation to Sam, which states it shall be unlawful for any person to appear in the nude on any public beach, public waters, or any public property in the view of the public. In response to this, Sam argued that she wasn't actually nude, prompting a discussion as to what exactly constituted nudity in the eyes of the law. The man behind the camera could be heard asserting that an anus and a vagina are nudity. A thong is not nudity. In the view of the public. I'm not so nude. So nobody's nude. There's nobody I'm nude not right nude. now. I'm not nude. The thong is not nude. Alright? An anus, a vagina are nude. Alright? However, according to the Myrtle Beach Municipal Code exposing one's buttocks in a public place is in fact unlawful. It shall be unlawful for any person to intentionally appear in any public place in such a state of dress or undress so as to expose to the view of others the human male or female genitals, public area, public hair, buttocks, anus, vulva or any portion of the female breast at or below the area thereof. Back in 2009, Myrtle Beach authorities toughened up public exposure laws allowing officers to hand out tickets or make arrests the very first time they spot someone showing too much skin. These new laws raised various differing opinions at the time, with some residents believing wearing a thong bikini shouldn't be seen as that much of a big deal. Although thongs hadn't been legal at the beach for some time, the previous so-called thong ordinance stipulated that officers had to issue a warning before handing out tickets as per a 2009 report by WMBF News. In the video, which lasts for 20 minutes, an officer denies Sam's request for him to let go of her, telling her, you're in handcuffs. At this, she incredulously exclaims, you put me in handcuffs for wearing a thong? Later in the clip, one officer could be heard to claim that Sam had been detained on account of how she was acting. Eventually, Sam's handcuffs are removed after another officer turns up, but it is still quite a while until the incident is wrapped up. At point, an officer tells the man holding the camera he could go to jail for hindering if he continued jimming in, an assessment that appeared to be rather over the top. Sam and her friends then go on to point out that there were various beachgoers who could be said to be displaying too much flesh, including many speedos. I think she did not, she did not act irrationally. No. What, you're just gonna sit here and argue with us. Social distance. After some time has passed, Sam was permitted to leave and has since shared her story on Facebook with the hashtag Cancel Myrtle Beach. If you are a woman and you decide to call the police on other women for their bodies on a beach in front of your teenage daughter, you have allowed a 105 pound woman to get rushed aggressively, grabbed, manhandled, and cuffed. You allowed two women to be shamed publicly on a beach for their bathing suits. And worst of all, you showed your daughter that her body is something she should be ashamed of and could be detained for. You showed her that a man can harm a woman over the way her body is viewed by other people. You have objectified a female body that does not belong to you and have showed your daughter that those actions are acceptable. You should be absolutely ashamed of yourself. Sam continued. Also, just to clarify, a woman called the cops on me because of my bikini. That's how this all started. Some Karen decided that my body was offensive to her and showed her child that her body could one day lead to arrest her. Her body could be the reason a grown man violates her. Her body is wrong. All four thongs do indeed flaunt the rules of the beach. Placing a woman in handcuffs while continuing to hold on to her does appear to be quite an extreme and uncalled for reaction.